Hi everyone, I come again with another tutorial. So today I'm going to be solving uh, question 7 in tutorial sheet 1. So please, for those that have not yet subscribed to the channel, please uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out whatever that I'm going to be posting on my channel because I've been receiving uh, people inboxing me saying how come I don't see what you post on the channel It's because you have not yet subscribed so make sure that you press on this button there it's just down below there below the screen just press on subscribe so that everything that I'm going to be posting you'll be able to watch all right so let us begin and so this is question seven from tutorial sheet one and then the other thing is if you want to search these questions on my YouTube channel you can just go on YouTube and type ash you type ash you write ash on the search uh, on the search box on top there on YouTube you write ash sorry this is ash and then you you type if you want a tutorial sheet if you want tutorial sheet one you type tutorial sheet one TS1 you type ash TS1 and then you type q then you put the question number if it's question one you put one this side if it's question two you put two uh this side you put two this side and then you 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 click on search this the question that you want will definitely come you will not start uh, searching for questions it will just come direct so since this is question seven so meaning this what i've put here is what you should type on the search button if you want to see question seven on my channel all right so we proceed so we have this question which says express each of the following in terms of x over y where x and y are integers and y is not equal to zero so when you look at this uh, uh this statement here on top you can agree with me that this this one is just trying to tell us to say these numbers that have been given them uh, i'm sorry these numbers that we have been given here despite them being decimal numbers they are not uh, irrational numbers they are rational numbers because only a rational number can be expressed in this form where x and y are integers and um y not being equal to zero so in short this is just the definition of rational numbers this statement on top is just the definition of rational numbers so in other words they can ask you to to rationalize uh this question these questions here or in uh, sometimes they can tell you to say show that uh this is a rational number so what we're going to be doing is actually what you're supposed to do when you have faced such questions so the first of uh, i mean the first thing that you need to know here you first have to equate this to a certain uh, letter so for me i'm going to use x so i'm going to say let uh, let me just work yeah okay let x be equal to uh, zero point uh, let x be equal to zero point zero point one six so you can see these sixes are repeating so they are just going like that so how do you do this how do you solve such a question so we can see that the numbers which are repeating are six the number which is repeating here is six so we we are going to move one step uh, towards the repeating number and to make sure that that step that we're going to move or that, those numbers of steps that we're going to move should take us uh, just next to the repeating number so here it means that we're only going to move once one we're going to move up to that point then we're close to the repeating number so if we move one step this side meaning this side we're going to multiply by 10 so this will be 10x being equal to so we're going to have one one point this is a point yeah so one point six the six will be repeating yeah so the other thing that you do again is you move another step 
or you move other steps covering the repeating numbers here the, the only number that is repeating is six so meaning we're going to move one step to cover this six up to that point so when we move one step to cover this six it simply means that even this side we're going to add one zero meaning we're going to have hundred hundred x being equal to sixteen point the six continues to repeat itself yeah so hundred minus ten you get ninety hundred minus ten you get ninety x which is equal to sixteen minus one this one will give you fifteen so you say ninety over ninety so x is equal to 15 over 90 is uh yeah you can reduce this one 15 over 90 i think 15 into 15 is 1 and then 15 into 90 gives us 6 so this is uh 0.1666 expressed in a fraction four so this is the answer for this question we move on to the next question you do the same thing you say let x be equal to uh, 0 0.24 yeah so here 2 and 4 are repeating meaning we have two repeating numbers here the first step that we took here to move closer closer to the repeating numbers uh, we won't take it here because the point is already closer to the to the repeating number so what you do is you just cover the repeating numbers so we're going to cover them one two one we've moved two steps meaning this side we're going to have hundred we're going to add two zeros and then we say equals this is going to be 24 when we move two steps there 24.24 and then so in here it's just a matter of subtracting 100 minus x there this 100 minus that x uh, you get uh, 99 x and then you have equals 24.24 minus 0 0.24 you get 24 and therefore you divide uh, both sides by 99 even this side by 99 and then you can reduce that 24 over 99 then when you reduce that you get 8 over 33 8 over 33 when you divide it by 3 so this is the solution for the second part we move on to the third part this one here yeah so i think before we okay let me just do let me just do this so uh the qu question three there is telling us to say our x now will be equal to zero point zero one six and seven is repeating there so seven is repeating this dot you are seeing on top there shows that seven is the one that is repeating so here the first step remember you move um, uh, the point closer to the repeating number or numbers so here we're going to move how many steps one two three steps so meaning this side we are adding three zeros okay this is a zero mm -hmm. and then being equal to so this is going to be 16 point seven repeating so the other step is you move a decimal point covering the repeating numbers so we're going to cover at least one seven one so meaning here we're going to add another zero which gives us ten thousand now and then it's going to be ten thousand x being equal to this side do have one sixty seven point seven will still be repeating there so you begin now to subtract 10,000 minus 1,000 you get 9,000 
so you get 9000x being equal to 167 uh, point 0.7 minus 16 you get 151 so here is just a matter of dividing by 9000 even this side 9000 so our value of x will now be equal to so our value of x will now be equal to 151 over 9000 so this is the value of x yeah so this is basically the value of x all right so let us proceed let's move on to the next question which is the second last question okay well so the second last question here is telling us to say uh, x is equal to two, but I think this does not exist. Okay, let's see. It's going to give us um, uh, two point nine. The nines are repeating themselves. So when we move one step, going this side, we move ten to be x being equal to twenty nine point nine repeating then we subtract we're going to have 9x being equal to 29 minus 2 that gives us 27 okay over 9 no this one does not exist it's not possible so we're going to have x being equal to 3 so this one does not exist i think it was just an error this one so this one i think it was just an error yeah it does not exist there is you can't find this number 2.999 does not exist nine repeating yeah okay let us proceed okay let us proceed move on to the last question there so our last question is saying uh x is equal to 1.3 and then we have 5 5 so 3 5 5 are repeating so the first step you move uh, this decimal closer to the repeating numbers 1 2 so you are going to have a hundred and then x there being equal to one three four point three point three five five so the next step there what you do is you move this decimal point uh, covering the repeating numbers one two three so you move it to cover the repeating numbers so so we're going to move three step three and then we're going to add three zeros to this hundred which gives us one three four three five five point three five five so this 355 is still repeating there so here is just a matter of subtracting and we are done so 100,000 minus 100 you get 909 you get 9 I mean you get 99,900 yeah 99,900 when you subtract this 100,000 from that I mean when you subtract this hundred from this hundred thousand is equal to when you subtract this one thirty four thousand three hundred and fifty five and one thirty four you get uh, this minus that this minus that this minus that then this will cancel okay so you get something like one three four 
two one another one over sorry this is just uh, one there's only supposed to be one because when you subtract this uh, 5 minus 4 you get this one 5 minus 3 you get this 2 3 minus 1 wait 5 minus 3 you get this 2 and then you have okay let me just do this yeah so this one isn't supposed to be 4 but 2 this one is supposed to be 2 not 4 Okay. okay there's supposed to be a two somewhere there so it's supposed to be 134 and then there's another two there uh -huh. and then we divide both sides by nine 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 zero zero nine 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 zero zero then we have x being equal to x being equal to when you divide this by that you get something like uh, I think this cannot be reduced yeah if you can reduce this there is no problem it's even better so if you can't reduce it if it's not reducible you write it like this you write it the way it is yeah you write your nine, 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 and then two zeros. All right. So this is how you do us. This. this is how you solve these questions. Yeah. So we have expressed all of them in fraction form. So kindly note that these are. This was just another way of asking us to say prove that these are not irrational or prove that these are rational numbers so uh, thank you very much for watching please for those that have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, kindly do so so that you don't miss out whatever that i'm going to be posting on this channel shalom shalom